Uh, back at the old grind, another day running successful company. What's up, Austin awesome, Sunday here bring you guys a brand new video and today we are playing some more game development tycoon or game dev tycoon and this time since I have found out that I am terrible at making videos by myself I have brought some friends here I have with me Christian Hi. and Blondie and I'm Blondie yeah, uh, Spire Slayers or Christian Zinc will be in the description. Now we also have Blondie here. Or, I, I guess not. Alright, so... But I guess let's get to it. Uh, news today, the new game Platform Master V by Venna has been released. That's that's pretty Gucci, I guess. Alright, so let's develop... Actually, yeah, develop new game, I guess. Uh, pick a topic. Who poops on shoes? <laughs> <laughs> what a great video. Alright, so I guess we'll have a vampire game. Genre, if it lets me click. Uh, action. I was clicking adventure, whoops. Pick platform. Oh yeah, so we got some new things that came out. We got the test or NES. And the Master V. So it's going to come out for the Master V. 80,000, whatever. Alright, so what should I name this vampire action game? Christian, what should I name Twilight. it? Twilight. Alright, Twilight. 2D graphics, of course. Oh man, if this game doesn't do good, then I think I may go bankrupt. God damn it. Why is she always cuss, dude? Like, what's up with her and cussing? I don't, man, I don't get it. No, first she talks about poop all over her house, and then she talks about cats, or well, no, not poops, and then well, really cussing. Yeah, totally, dude. <laughs> God bless, right? Alright, so then uh, level design is important, but also dialogues and AIs and... Yeah, there you go. So, so far we only have one bug, so that's not as bad. Oop, industry news. The recently released game console, Master V, has shown up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but it will flourish in other parts of the world. Oh. I think that's what I'm making this game for, Rip. Alright, so uh, world design is important for action. So is sound and sound and graphics. So there you go. Alright, so we're in really deep in this game. Like, oh no. So if you look over here, you see these like four dots. And every time those four dots hit four, another week goes by. We pay 8,000 every month. So we're about to pay another 8,000. Probably going into some really bad debt. Release game. Oh my gosh. Because it's gonna, you get might lose 8,000 every month. Ooh, uh, come on, good reviews, good reviews, good reviews. Yo, alright. We got a 9, an 8, 9, 10, 9. The focus on engines served this game very well, good stuff. And so now when, the, when it starts selling, ooh, look at that. 12 point, or 88.4 thousand sales and we're already back in the blue, or in the green. Let's do some researching, game design. So, oh yeah, so this is also something I was uh, trying to get the recording software ready, pop up some other stuff. We can now research target audiences. Basically, you can make a game, you can say, like, I want this game to be for mature audience only, for kids only. And yeah, it's, that, that's about it. Just for the hey, we're at 490 fans, 512 fans. Alright, so now we're going to make, uh, let's do some contract work first. Uh... Six and six, we can do that. Easy peasy. Look, look how many fans. 534 fans? Whoa. Oh, we can now research casual game. Research. Casual. Oh, we don't have enough. Okay. Well, let's make a new game. Develop new game. So it's going to be for everyone. The top. No, it's going to be a music game. Uh, that's a simulation for young, and the platform will be on the NES or TES, I, I guess. And what should I, uh, uh, what should I name this dancing game? 
Fish. Uh, dance just. Dance just. Yes. Dance just and then call in. No, no, and then we'll later we'll make another one and it'll be like get real edition or something like that. Alright, so wait, so we're making a simulation music simulation. Okay. Let's see how this works out. Ne next, next. Oh, I gotta pick the genre. Simulation, whoops. Wait, why is the next button on this side now, huh? Is it always on that side? Wait, what? Hold on. Why is that on the left side? I'm pretty sure it used to be on the right side, whatever. Simulation. Oh, well. <laughs> Text-based dancing simulation. Recent market... Oh, recent market data shows that that seems to be slowly losing market sharing against other PC manufacturers. Boom. Oh, in, other, in an unofficial statement, G64 employees said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against fewer and more advanced PCs. Whoa! Alright, so next, uh, since it's a simulation, the engine is good, gameplay is good, story and quests is put that all the way down. Twilight is now off the market. <laughs> it sold 40,559 units, generating a lot of money in sales. Well, that's good. It was 100,000. So, all of these is good. AI is dialogues, simulation, not as good. Eh. 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 You can't make everyone happy. Well, 566 fans, so. So then, no graphics are good. Sound has to be good. World design will fit right there. Okay, boom, easy, a peasy. Ooh, 19, 20, 20 research. Look at that. I go wait for the bugs to go down. I don't want to release a dancing simulator. Ooh, ooh, the Ninvento. Uh, Ninvento has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming gaming device called the Game Link. The device comes with changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on the green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via connection cable. Definitely not the Game Boy Color, it's the Game Link. Compared to PCs and other game consoles, the Game Link is an underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. It's going to hit the shelves next month. Dude, I can't wait to start making games for the Game Link. Did I gave me port for Twilight. Alright, release game. I really need some help. Let's hope this did good. Oh, oh, are you serious? It looks like it's gonna do good. So we got an eight, love it. I'm Six, back. could have been better. Hey, welcome back, I'm making a video. Yeah, I know. Eight, very enjoyable. So we got eight, six, eight. Sorry about my shoe outburst. Eight. Played it for days. That we heard. It's okay. Apparently so kittens decide they're gonna poop on my one hundred dollar shoes. Not fun. I don't even know where they poop like on everything. Alright, uh, hold on, hold on. So this is what we learned from our game Twilight. Vampire and action is a great combination. World design is not important. AI is very important, and uh, Master V in action is good, and Vampire and everyone seems to be great. They pooped on my Doc Martens. And on my backpack, and on my bag, and on the floor. You know what this sounds like, Blondie? Blondie, you know what this sounds like? What? Uh-oh. A you problem. Fight me. How yeah. Would you like it if, how would you like it if a kitten went and popped on $200 of your items? Hey, you know, you know, what's, you know what's funny about that, Blondie? I wouldn't let that happen. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, because you can totally stop it. Yeah, it's called I don't have kittens in my house, crazy cat lady. Oh, I'm going to bring a kitten now, so... Did you say you're gonna burn a kitten? Bring. A... Bring a kitten where? To your house. Oh yeah? Do you know my address? I'll find it. I'll find it. Wow, oh, thanks. Oh. I mean, I know you live in Tri Shitties near a bunch of old people. So hey, Queen, I'll say where I live on a video. Thanks. Hey, maybe you should just cut that part out. <laughs> nope, not cutting anything out. Leaves it. One shot, one go. All right, so we're doing a pirate action game. Now your viewers know where you live. I hope they come to you. Try shitties. 
Yeah, my favorite city. <laughs> Try shitties. Hey, what if I actually live in Britain? Or like, UK? Britain, UK- Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> what if you live in Britain? Or the UK? It- It's- you, you, can, you know technically that those are both correct. Wait, what? I- I think I'm just gonna cut this part of the video off. I don't know any words. It, there's literally, it's, it's known that you can, there's like four different names for it, it depends on which countries you're including. Like if you're talking Britain, it's, I think, the island that has Scotland and England. The United Kingdom is everything. No, the United Kingdom doesn't include, um, Northern Guys, Ireland. I passed history with a B, I hope you know that. Northern Ireland doesn't include it in the United Kingdom, but then the British Isles does include Northern Ireland. Do I just I hear a cat meowing in your background? I'm kind of concerned. Hey, yo, it's not as bad as my dog. <laughs> yo, I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's because there's two kittens, so they want to... One of them's calling for their sibling. What if it's calling for food, dude, or attention? Um, they've already eaten three times today, so... So what if they want to eat four times, dude? There's been times we've ate more than one if day. I, if I feed them, they're gonna poop again. So you're gonna starve your kittens, is what you're saying, because you don't want them to poop. Wow. All right. I see how it is. World design is important. Adventure of sound isn't as important. Graphics are important. Heck up. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, reporter for Planet GG. <laughs> We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this game? Give interview. Great, thank you for your time. We will publish an interview next week. Okay. Where's the interview? It's not published, it's next week. Oh, Planet GG has recently published an interview with Vest Inc. Incorporated. Cats are wrestling. Oh, wow. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game target mature player, Sundu, owner of CEO. And so owner of CEO, owner and CEO of Vest Incorporated said, We think the players are looking for more mature content in games and we are willing to risk we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these. <coughs> Call of Duty. Hey look, we got a hype of fourteen. Dance Dance Just playing? is now off the market. It sold 36,770 units and made 257,000 in sales. I'm playing Game Development Tycoon. How much does that cost? Well, check Steam. Well, let's see how we did. Oh, I didn't give it a name. I just named it Game Number 7. Rip. Ooh. Pirate and Adventure is a great combination. So we got a 6, a 4, a 4, and a 5. They put as much thought into the game as into the game's name. Ah! Ah! I think game number 7 for a Pirate Adventure for Mature Only is a great name. That's just me. Whatever. Ah! That scared me. My scream? Yeah. Well, look how much money we're making, so it doesn't matter. We got four fans, huh? With the growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great way for game developers to market their upcoming games. Oh, I can now research marketing. I probably should research that too, because marketing is really big in this game. Well, I don't have enough to research marketing, rip. I stole the king's horse. Aliens, huh? Yeah, let's research aliens. We're gonna make a game of aliens. It seems that the initial sales for game number 7 have fallen way below expected numbers. The game received moderate views, but it seems that the chosen platform isn't very popular with the target audience. Oh no. That's gonna stop like right there. Or lower. Uh oh. <laughs> Same level. That's gonna be like right there. Watch. Oh, okay. Develop new game. It's gonna be for everyone. It's gonna be called Area 15. No, no. Instead of 
We're gonna call it 51 Area. I think that's a great name. And it's gonna be Aliens, pick Genre, Strategy, pick Platform. But no, it's gonna be on the Gameling, and it's gonna be for Young, and it's gonna be, uh... Should I make a casual Alien game or Simulation? No, strat strategy, alien game for everyone. Strategy on the game name. Okay. <laughs> it makes text based game. Yes, do it. <laughs> I made one earlier and it actually did okay. Uh, so I'm guessing gameplay is going to be good, story and quests is and, and engine is going to be okay. Right, how big of an engine can you have for a game link or a Game Boy Color? I gained one fan. Alright, so level design is good. AI is going to be big. Let's go. Only one bug so far. That's good. I'm pretty sure it went negative in that game. If you have more than one million in cash, you'll be able to move on, move to the next level. It might sound like a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you'll get this, to this mount easily. Guys, Vena, Vena, the creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vena Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the game link from Ninvento. Ninvento? Yeah. Name. Yeah. Uh, a spokesperson for the company said, uh, oh yeah, so uh, Ninvento, uh, one of their hit games was Dinky King. Oh my god. Yeah, it's our favorite game. Yeah. A spokesperson for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Vena Gear has basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. The Vena Gear also has a full color screen. Will this device topple the game link? We will see. The Vena Gear will debut, debut in two months. Alright, so graphics are is good, sound is good, world design is okay. Alright, we have three bugs, two bugs, one bug, no bugs. Alright. I hit finish, I don't know what's going on. Alright, nothing new. Ain't do we like level up? Ooh, leveled up on graphic, that's good. Let's see how we did. Ooh. Generate game report on Dance Just. Let's see how we did on this game. Oh, for 51 area came out. Seven, nice experience. Seven. Oh, all my soldiers died. Seven. Eight. Yes. Sounds like we did really good. Ooh, a lot of sales. One hundred six five point six thousand. One hundred six five point six k fifty uh, sales. When you finish your recording, we will play the Terrarius. Music and dance. Music and simulation is a great combination. Engine is important for it. Uh, T, uh, the TES and simulation is okay. TES and Young is great. Music and Young is great. I know what I have. I have to make one more game. So it's going to be for Young. It's going to be music on uh, casual on the TES. We have to. And we're going to call it... Uh, what was the first one we made called Dance Just? So we're going to make Dance... We're going to make Dance Just... Get Schwifty. Oh what? Get Schwifty. Get, get okay, so... Uh, it says casual, story and quest can important, engine is important, gameplay is important. That's all you need to know. Ooh, 51 area has achieved a company sales record of over 50,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Vest Incorporated. Good stuff. What if I move my mic to here? I wonder if that's better. Like, lower my mic volume. It looks like it's really loud. Alright, so forget Swifty. Music and casual. Dialogue's not as important. AI is not as important, but.
Oh, I got nine fans. That's good. Rank fifty. Ooh. Somebody says they changed the zodiac signs. You changed those zodiac signs. Shines. What? No, they like it changed to the zodiac signs. Oh, okay. It's like they changed from okay. one to another. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like you know how like you've been like whatever. Wait, you've been probably a. Uh... I'm Sagittarius. Yeah. Well, not anymore. What? Wait, really? Actually, wait. When's your birthday? December thirteenth. Nope, not anymore. You're not. I'm not Sagittarius anymore. Apparently not. They added a uh, new zodiac sign called the uh, Opicius. Opicius. Wait, what does that mean for me then? I don't Your believe birthday. it. 19th of October. You are now a Libra. Okay, okay, that's what I was before. Okay. Phew. Oh, lucky you. I'm pretty sure I'm still a Sagittarius. It says I'm a Leo now. Oh, let's, let's see how get Swifty did. Oh, uh, we got a nine. We got a nine. We got a nine. We got a nine. Dude, they can't wait for the sequel of Just Dance Just. Get Swifty. In the first week, it made 107.1 thousand sales. And it's a little kid's game. Hey, look, you're famous. Oh my god, wow, that's so mad. It's ranked number 12. So, Pirate and Adventure is a great combination. Uh, TS and Adventure is bad. TS and Mature is terrible. AI is not important for an adventure game. Now we're going to research, marketing. Oh, I died. <gasps> okay. Ooh, there's an extra long episode. I believe we should actually be able to get up to uh, 1 million and then that will allow us to move on to the next level. We'll see how much we make off of this. We researched marketing, that's good. Let's do some contract work. Oh, you're playing CSGO? Who? Oh, I'm not going to make it. Frick, no. Oh, so close. Find contract work. I'm gonna try it. I don't think I'll make it though. No, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it because he started doing that. Ah. Look how close we are. If he wouldn't have done that, we probably could have made it too. Sad day. Anyways, so, uh, looks like I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thanks for coming and checking out and stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Still a sellout, but hey, that's okay. Probably always will be. No big deal. But yeah, uh, thanks for coming and hanging out, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll uh, see you guys there.